Greetings and welcome back to Timberborn. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are just admiring our wonderful colony here. So there are a couple of things that I have been kind of thinking about. One of them is the rate of the depletion of our trees. And I think we might need to supplement with this area over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, one of these lumberjack flags. Do we have one actually running? We do. Okay. I'm also going to restart the forester. Uh, because I want to plant more trees in this area. So, hmm. There's the other issue too of, I wonder if we should build a second log storage somewhere around here. Um, that's a tough decision because the lumber is, it takes up a huge area really. Well, we, I guess we, you know what we could do? I guess we could put a lumber storage as a bridge. That is a possibility. Hmm. It would kind of cover up the river in a way that I don't really like. But it is a possibility, isn't it? Um, do we want to do this? I'm not sure. What we could do is rotate the flags. Now the flags, they can hold up to 20 logs each. So maybe that's enough. Uh, or maybe we do actually want to consider getting some lumber storage. Now, does the lumber storage have to sit on the ground? Let's find out that first. No, it can be built wherever. So we could put it, I'm kind of, I really don't want to put it out here because we have the ability to build all this stuff out here. What about, um, hmm, here? Possibly, eh, but it's too far. I don't know. It's kind of far away. You know what we could do? Let's just put the pile here. This makes it close to the road where uh, we can get haulers to come in and organize this. We also have the opportunity to build on top of it, which is kind of a nice thing. Uh, and in the meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and just plant trees here because that uh, is a good thing. There we go. Hello, hello. There we are. And we're going to get all of those trees planted right there. And even on these edges, I think we still have access there. Yes. Yeah, this, this square has a tiny bit of green. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, get that one as well. All right. So that's happening. We have four unemployed beavers. Let's just check on what we have going. So water wheels are not in effect right now. We have these items here running. Now we could do, we have two, wow, we have 277 pl planks. That's a lot of planks. What I think we should do is shut off one of these plank makers and instead turn on the gear maker or maybe just the flower maker. Um, or I mean, let's see, how much is that? That is power supply is 150, demand is 230. Let's turn off the lumber mill because we have 200 planks that's a that's a really that's a lot of planks that's a lot of planks all right um and that will get some of the things going it does look like we have a bakery so life is better in beaver town right now i think do we want to set up storage probably wow we can actually afford these now sort of it costs 80 planks for one 250 science points but I think it might be time. I think it might be a good thing to actually get one of these large warehouses. So I'm going to go ahead and put one. Let's put one right there. And this one is going to be for bread. So I'm going to take off the entrance thing. And hopefully we're, we're going to be able to get bread there. So because right now all the bread we have. Wow, it stores 190. That's actually a good amount of bread. I'm pretty impressed. That's cool. All right, so in the last episode, we did start building toward this area. Uh, and what we wanted to do was get rid of some of the trees that were in our way because I wanted to put the road over here. Now, we do have uh, a fair amount of... Uh, we've done a lot of clearing here. If we check on the borders, we can see that the roads end right there. I kind of would love to have this city center a bit further but I'm okay with having it in this area. So let's put down a couple of the first things I, I wanna have. Let's put all, down the drop off points for stuff. Uh, and that's actually harder than I want it to be. 
You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put them around here because the thing is, once this river, once we get that flooded, it's going to make the sides green. But it's hard for me. I don't, I never counted actually how far it will flow from, say, just one tile of water on the bottom. So I don't really want to place things right next to the river. So let's see what we can do with this. I th and also this road, I think I want to make a, maybe a little bit squigglier. You know what? I'm just going to measure it. But I am going to put the city center somewhere there. Let's put these drop-off points uh, out here. Because the beavers can come and pick up what they need. I think that's an okay idea, is for them to pick up stuff that they want. So we're going to put these drop-off points here. And that seems to fit quite nicely. Alright, good. Alright, so we have those two. Now, we also wanted to build a distribution place out here somewhere. I think we're going to have to remove that road. I'm not quite sure what we'll do. We could either put science thingies here or something else. I'm not quite sure what else. So let's see how big it is. I think it's four. Yeah, it's four wide. So this is quite a large building. However, it, I think it would fit quite nicely here. Uh, we actually have a natural little uh, alcove right there if we want to, or let's just put it here. Uh, and save this area for if we want to move that road for whatever reason else. So let's put that there. And this place is going to be for delivering all of the goods into the town. So I'm going to go ahead and let the game run a bit. Uh, we do have these levees that are being built currently. I want this to be done sooner. So let's go ahead and get that done. Uh, this area also is going to need a distribution post. So let's place that... Maybe here? Sure. That seems okay. Put that there. Now, our builders from lands over here should be able to build this. What I'm going to do is I want to make the gate probably right here. So let's make the gate there. Let's pause and remove this and make our district gate right there. Okay. So this is new district land and these guys... Um, are not connected to a district center. So let's place that down. That is that over there. So we have stuff going on here. So this is potentially another floodplain or just something. Uh, we're not quite sure what we're going to do with this yet. But I think we'll just put the district center kind of... Uh, let's go to the right because this area is definitely probably going to become farmland. Well, probably definitely. That That's a good combination of words. <laughs> okay, let's make sure that we can set our limits. So we're going to do... Let's see. Berries. We're just going to do limits like uh, like this. We're just going to add them here. Wait, are we do this? Is this how we do it? I think this is how we do it. So we'll do 10 here. We'll do... Um, bread. Let's see. We'll do 30 bread, 30 carrots. And I guess we'll do the same to go out. Um, explosives. I think we want very few. So 10. Flour, zero. It depends. Later we might ship flour instead of finished bread. But for now, we don't want to send them too much. Or we don't want them to be responsible for too much stuff. All right, gears will go with, um, let's go with zero for now. Grilled potato will go 30. Logs will go, let's go with 20 logs. Metal blocks, zero. Paper, 10. Some of these things we're not going to ship immediately. Uh, so I'm just kind of like thinking future. Potato, zero. Scrap metal, we're going to go with zero, 00 on that one. Water. We want to have at least 30 water. And wheat. Let's see. Wheat zero. Okay. That is our limits for this city. And we don't have... Um, actually, you know what we could do? We could put one of these little posts over here as well. So actually, let's go ahead and keep on going here. So we want to do a drop-off point... And this drop-off point is going to be, wait, it's like one, one, two, and then one, two. I guess we can put this here. It seems okay. Uh, we'll put a road there. All right. 
So our limits are going to be, and this automatically pauses by the way. Okay, we want to have a minimum stock of 50 berries. We want to have a minimum stock of 20 books. Uh, and then here, I guess we're going to have to do high of, sure, 100. Okay, sure, whatever. Uh, these things don't really matter on the high side, I think. Uh, for bread, we're going to want to have at least 30 bread, 30 carrots, explosives. Um, let's not limit them. Flour, uh, we'll do a... That might be an interesting thing. Shipping flour to an area? Hmm. Uh, gears. Do we want to have a minimum gears? I don't think so. Let's see. Grilled potatoes. We'll have a minimum of 30. Now, we're going to leave these others as 100 because we don't need anything shipped in at the moment. Let's see. Logs. We want to have a minimum of, say, 20 before we ship any out. Metal blocks. Let's see. Uh, how many do we want shipped in? Probably zero. Let's leave it. Uh, we probably are not going to get blocks shipped in, but instead we want scrap metal. And I think we're just going to go with 300 for that one so that it can fill up the post and, and be good. All right, paper. Uh, we want to have at least 10 paper. Planks. I think we'll have a minimum of 10 planks here before we ship any out. Uh, this is fine. Water. We want to have a minimum of 50 water here. And then wheat, zero. Okay, that's fine. So Growington is set up. Everything is now set up. And I just need to add the stuff going this way. So let's do a, a new route. So we're just going to send things like... Let's do the food on the further one. Because I only get food later. Usually in the day. So let's get berries, bread. Um, we need carrots. Yes. We need grilled potatoes and then water. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to do new roots here. Initially, all we're going to need is logs and planks. That's all we need. So we're going to wait until these things are delivered. We definitely need delivery beavers here. Let's see, we have two, two there. Uh, five people at the hauling post currently. I don't know if we're short anywhere else. I kind of wish we could see, like, are we short the jobs that we actually want? It's really hard to tell sometimes. Uh, anyway, this is going pretty well. Pretty happy about that. Uh, it looks like we're almost done with these things. Now, what I want to do here is we want to place down... Now, one, one of the things that I should have mentioned with building these levees is that it is quite important for you to place down the one by the entry block first. Uh, you don't have to technically, but that's where our beaver got into trouble is because he got stuck. So it's best to actually do this from that one uh, ledge here. I, and they could do it from the bottom as well, but it just depends on the beaver's proclivities and... That is actually the best way of doing this is uh, to do that. And then they can work on the ones after it. So let's add those two there. All right. And so that's that's pretty, pretty good. Pretty fine. Now, hopefully we're going to get this distribution center also done. Uh, even though we're not going to use it for a time. Let's see. Did we deliver anything? Yes, we delivered everything. So now we have um options what we want to do we do want to build a breeding pod that is necessary uh so what we want to do is build let's build the breeding pod here and then i want to build a water uh water tank here so that it can be filled up from the storage and those are going to be kind of important we're going to go ahead and make those uh, higher priority. We are... Okay, is this working? Yes, yeah, should be. Help? <laughs> no, it's actually fine. It's really fine. Uh, and our builders should be working on stuff. Let's see, is there anything that is... Uh, let's see, the inventor is not there. But what else? Gatherer flag, that is on pause, so that's not a problem. Let's see. I think we do actually need to have more berries, so I want the gatherer to work. 
So what we'll do is we'll pause one of these inventors, the one that's not occupied currently. We'll also take off maybe a couple of the distributors here. Oh, wait, wait, we want to have like four. Let's see, is that going to work? Hello? No? Okay. Help! Dang! Do we actually, oh, we actually have four now. Okay, so we have two there. And does that mean that we got our, our worker? Yes, we did. Okay, good. And we have zero unemployed. Now, uh, this area, <laughs> this area is going to need some things like housing, for example, and other stuff. Uh, we do have the materials to start on some of that. We're going to go ahead and pause this because we don't need anybody working there at the current moment. Uh, here, we're going to probably have two workers until we get everything sorted. But we kind of want to see let's see we have zero unemployed currently but i think we can take some off of certain jobs it looks like we need all of our lumberjacks so that's probably not going to happen right away let's see we can take one person off of forestry because we don't need that right now what else can we do here let's see we have um gotten down a few of these planks so that's a thing we do need this um, grist mill to keep on running. So what else can we do? We can take off one inventor. So that's going to be one more unemployed. Do we have potatoes? I guess we can uh, take one off the grill. And then we need to ship three people over to our new place. So let us do that. Let's go ahead and migrate our population to District 2. Take three people. Now... The interesting thing about this migration, and a few people have noted this in the comments, is that it takes the oldest, oldest beavers there are. Well, that's not correct. Look at this. Vera is only 22. And Jojin is 17. Okay, so maybe it doesn't. Maybe if you do it randomly. I didn't specifically pick unemployed beavers, so maybe that was why. But I was like 77 years old and another one was like 73. It was like, oh, okay, these guys are going to die here soon. <laughs> That's what's happening now. Um, so anyway, I want to build a couple of things first. We need to build some housing. We don't have enough science points to get any of these nice row houses. So we're going to just start off with barracks. Uh, all right, so should we put them here? I think that's a good place to put them. So we're going to start off with barracks. And then after that, we really need to get working on this section over here. So this is part of this district. Uh, and they are now working on those stairs. So as we can see, this line is starting to get a little off green into the yellow zone. So they're going to be building that area first, which is great. Because there's no sense in building any kind of farming until we actually have water in this area. So that's going to be a necessary thing that we build first. Okay, so how is this coming? This is going well. We have other stuff going. Hooray. Now we do have plenty of food. We must keep track of the food. That's super, super important for us. Now one thing that we probably are going to struggle with is this grist mill. And uh, we probably need to make a second one. But the issue is the lack of power. That is where we are really struggling in this and where I think we're going to benefit greatly from having this scrap. Uh, so anyway, what we're saving for right now is to get a shredder. So if we look at our metal stuff, we can probably buy a few things. We get our scavenger flag and then we need a shredder. Uh, that one costs 300 science to make work. Uh, or to, to buy the blueprint anyway. And it also costs us 20 gears and 30 scrap metal. So gears, we have 10. So that's great. We're at a good start with that. Let's go ahead and put this gatherer flag maybe, I don't know, somewhere. Let's see. Let's go and take this there. And maybe delete that there. And add our scrap metal gathering flag nearby like that good okay and then we can kind of delete this road that's fine yes okay good okay our beavers are dutifully building all of this fun stuff 
Uh, what are we doing here? We have one unemployed. I'm going to go ahead and put all three as builders for now. Because there's not much else for them to do. They might as well build stuff. Okay. Things are going okay right now. Very good. Okay, so this is not done yet. I'm actually surprised they've done nothing for this. This is a little bit like, huh? Why not? What are they? They must be just building all of this first, maybe. I don't know. Uh, this needs to get done soon-ish. What else is going on? I don't know. I guess that's it. Or maybe they're building the temples. Ah, that's what they're doing. They're building the temples. Or they were. Let's see. This needs to start getting built for sure. I'll put that on a little bit like medium high. And this also should be medium high now as well. Let's see. We have gears few gears not that many okay it looks like our food is at a good level right now uh, potatoes could be higher but we do need to get a person for that okay so this area is actually done so let's see let's pause right now real quick and see where we can build okay so this this goes all the way back which is kind of nice we have a lot of leeway here where we can build stuff I think we might build it like maybe here, maybe there. Just kind of get as much as possible. Be really greedy about what we're getting from this. So, all right, let's figure out how we want to do this. We're going to get our levy. First of all, yeah, levy is going to be the most important part here. I'm just going to go ahead and build it all the way across. Um, Actually, we need to probably get our... Let's get our road very close to this. Uh, and then make sure that they do that. They're going to they're gonna get to build that. Okay. Very good. Oh, they are building it right now. They're very excited. Happy beavers doing their thing. Hooray. Okay. Um, what do we have going on here? Looks good. We have things going on. We just need these two pieces of the levy to be done. All right. Logs, planks, all the things. I feel like they're getting a tiny bit distracted, so we need to help them out with this. All right. We now have very few planks left, and I think we might need to shut off the gears for a while. So we'll go ahead and pause this. Pause, pause. And that means we have what? We have... 100 of 160 so let's unpause this as well okay very good very very good now the drought is ending soon uh well soon <laughs> soon in three days yes uh, but you can see already the water level has gotten significantly lower over here which is not ideal but we're doing well we're still doing well hooray so we are missing a person from the scavenger flag we're also missing some from one of the power wheels. That's not good. Let's see. Here we have... Uh, yeah, we don't have that much power. Let's turn this off. I forgot we're moving people around as we're doing this. So that's not ideal. So lumber mill, we only have one of three. That's not good. Distribution post, we have four. I don't think we need that many, maybe. Let's cut that down to three. And we'll cut down the builder's hut... Or maybe the hauling post to three instead. And we'll kind of move people around a tiny bit. The scavenger. Oh, that's the scavenger flag. Never mind. I was thinking it was the gathering one. I'm like, huh? No. <laughs> so here we can actually maybe take a person off of this. Uh, but they are doing this very quickly, which is very admirable. So I want to put in... Let us put in this thing of, um, let's get the levy there. Okay, so we had to put that one in because it's in this very awkward kind of corner. Now, on top, actually, no, we need to not do that. We need to build upward instead, like those two. That's what we need to do. So this we need to pause. That's fine. Okay, good. Because those they can reach from the ground. Um... And we don't want to put this one in because we can't get that, that one in either. And another thing that we can do here is 
Start building this staircase in order to access this stuff on top. Um, okay, so the next layer has to go across the whole thing. So what we can do is kind of get above this. We need to go three levels up for that. I think we can start... Let's start with this. Do we want to do that? Or do we want to do a... I think we might just try the regular stair route here with this. Let's go ahead and delete that. And stairs up first. And then we'll do this. And... This, that. Okay. Not stairs there. And then we need this one, this one, and triple there. Okay, just kind of make a standard staircase like this. Uh, and that will get us where we want to go with this, I think. Okay, and let's go with that for now. That'll give us some amount of control over this thing. We'll go ahead and just place these levy pieces there as well, because we can build those without uh, worrying about the other sections. Okay, how are we doing here? Let's go ahead and I want to upgrade these guys, because I do want to put in another section here so that we can keep building this thing up. We're actually almost there. We have one square left. This is fantastic. It's like actually really good. And life is going to be better for our beavers. You can just tell. So the other thing that we need to kind of think about is after this, we have only one more level. And if we're going to look at the, the uh, whoopsies, uh, the floodgates here, we can see that this one is these two layers. So we need a triple floodgate for the top of this. And I think it's a good thing to have here so that we can uh, control the water out. Maybe we can even have a little bit of power. Uh, I'm not going to promise anything because mostly this is to keep our crops from dying. Crops not, not dying is a great thing. It's really a good thing. So we're going to have to yeah, keep track of that. Uh, and kind of do what we can, but it's always nice to have options without having to rebuild everything. So that's an important part of things. I think once we get some more water here, I'm going to turn the forester back on. Okay, so we're doing really well here. And I think we should just let these things be built. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and build that. And then we also need the, the levee piece on top. Okay, and then we're actually really good. That is really nice. So this is going down, obviously, as we're we're kind of going along here. I'm thinking we might need another breeding pod. It's kind of a big, yeah, big question mark. Like, how many do you need? Because the breeding pods are quite, um, quite slow. But you also don't want to breed too fast. Because you could end up with many, many beavers that you can't feed or can't whatever. So let's go ahead and make, I think we're going to make maybe two more breeding pods. I think that would be good because we are kind of lacking in beaverage. Wait, that didn't sound right. <laughs> that sounded really weird. Uh, let's make two more beaver pods there and we'll have another section of them over this way. I thought about putting another beaver wheel in there, but I'm kind of like, eh, it'll be fine. Yeah. So let's see, we have three planks left here. Yeah, we're really short on the planks, but that's just because we have used them all. That's why we've used up our beautiful collection of planks and we have nothing to show for it so far. We have a couple of half built buildings. Well, those are just logs, but this one has quite a lot of planks invested in it, but it does look like we're doing okay. I do feel like we probably need another grist mill because the the, the wheat is really not getting converted fast enough. So that's where we're kind of struggling. But this particular storage unit, I want to say this is going to have bread. And this is where what we're going to put in here. This is going to be our bread storage place. So now we can get stuff and we have water. Wow. 
It's fun. <laughs> That's really fun. Okay, I need to not do that. I feel like I shouldn't open or close that off too much because every time it floods and it's not good. It is really not good. Okay, so this is our new level of stuff. Um, and I want to increase it even more. This is going to be another level. Oh, actually, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Nay, bad. Okay, let's close this. Stop, stop, stop. And... I want to buy this. We don't actually have enough science points yet, but hopefully we're going to get there soon. So, uh, Levy Land. Let's go back to Levy Land and hopefully this clears up like it did before. We're counting on you, thing. We want you to clear up like you did before. Okay, let's build this first thing to make sure that our beavers don't get caught out in a bad place. Okay, yeah, it's fine now. Look at this. It's great. All right. Now we're okay, we have one unemployed beaver and I think we're gonna go with science points for that particular beaver. So yay. Okay, and we are carrying stuff over and we've got water. Hey, we got water here, check this out. Wow, look at this. Getting farmland and all the things. This is good, this is actually good. So now, we have a situation here where do we want to put a levy here? I don't know. I think we might actually want to put in a triple something something, but I don't know. Maybe we just want a levy there uh, to hold it back. So we have lots of water wheels turning like crazy. Go ahead and just upgrade that in priority to get by and... We now don't actually need a lot of these power wheels because we have lots of power. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these off for now. Let these beavers do other things. Let's open up all of these structures. Now we do have one more plank maker than we do gear makers. So that should be good. Let's see, do we have enough power for all of this? Yes, we do, good. I was like, wait a second, do we have enough power? <laughs> we may or may not, let's see. But anyway, we are doing really well with this now. Uh, do we have anybody unemployed? No, I think we are good on that. Okay, do we need any? Yeah, we might need more wood. But let's see, we have 84 potatoes. I feel like we need to start the grill again. So let's go and do that. We don't want that number to get too low. Um, but it also might be time to kind of start farming again. I'm going to turn on this lumberjack flag because I think we need to clear these trees out and maybe make this farmland down here. So I'm going to turn off one of these flags. Let's just do that so that person goes over here, hopefully. I don't know if it's going to work that way, but we'll see. Okay, so here we have stuff. Oh, this is great. Wow, we have many things here. This is fantastic. Yay. The yay is real. They are swimming underwater along the underwater roads. It's great. Now then, uh, we have here, let's see, we still, we have three adults and one child. So we now have the ability to make farms and stuff. Well, I mean, we've had that ability, but we can now exercise our, yes, all the things exercise ourselves uh, in getting that done. I'm going to go ahead and make, hmm, how do we want to do this? Do we want to save all of the green land? I'm kind of thinking this is going to evaporate to some degree. So maybe what we want to do is kind of say that this green area is not going to always be green area and not kind of care about it. Uh, I'm thinking that anyway. Let's go ahead and put down, let's go get some storage first of all. Uh, for various things. Let's put down storage there and storage there. And maybe put farmhouses on top. I don't know if this is very efficient in terms of like planning here, but it's, it's okay. It saves some space, I guess. Uh, and then we can put in stairways here. And then we're going to have a road there, but not all the way yet. That actually looks quite funny. <laughs> I kind of like it. Okay, so we're going to have two storage, uh, two storage yards, barns, whatever they are. Storage warehouses over there. And I do want to plant some carrots. 
and then probably potatoes because potatoes have that kind of multiplicative thing going on uh, but probably not getting the uh, bread anytime soon because we don't have power down here yet we might get power we'll see we'll see how it works Okay, so this is how this is functioning right now. It's so far working really well. Let's see, if we block it one more square, this is a very difficult thing right now because it seems to be... Let's see, it's one square below this. So I'm thinking if we block this, uh, it might be a really good thing. Let's see, if we block that, what's going to happen? So... Um... Is it going to overflow here? I'm kind of wondering about that. What we can do is put in uh, either dams or a floodgate. Let's put in a couple of double floodgates, maybe. Let's put in a levee over here. I don't know if they can... Oh, yeah, they can reach it because it... that goes that way. Yep, okay. I'm actually wondering about those depth markers. I've never used those, uh, but it could be a good good thing. And it would tell us how deep, maybe how deep it is. I'm not sure if it would tell us how deep, if it's relative or if it is universal depth kind of thing. I don't know. Oh, this is looking so good though. I'm wondering if I should make another grist mill. But yeah, we're, we're getting some gears, which is perfect because we actually need those for uh, this other stuff. Now, I kind of want one person to work there, so let's take off one of the workers and uh, start on that item there. Let's go ahead and do this as a priority. Up. Do both of those so that we have this nice set of waterways actually working for us. Okay, and is this person working? There's nobody there. No help. Let's see. Let's take off the uh, one of the builders from there. Are they working now? Hello? Mm, yes. Yes. Okay, good. So they're going to take all of these trees down, hopefully, and then we can make this area into farmland. I also think we might want to have another large water tank here. So let's just do that. Let's add one there. And I do feel we probably need another water pump because it's just not, it's it's kind of uh, not getting higher. Definitely not getting higher. So we're gonna have to blow all of our gears on that, alas, but it's okay. We're making more now. So life is a little bit better on the gear uh, threshold, the gear issue, all of the things, yes. So this is gonna get logs. It'll be built tomorrow, I hope. Now I, can't quite tell let's see this is one two blocks so i think if we build a a floodgate there that's too high a double one like this it should be enough even if it looks silly even if we never put the levees over there it should be functional at the very least but yeah let's see how that ends up but let's see what's going on here. So I want to make a storage for carrots here. Okay. And then we'll wait till the other one's built before we place the other thing in there or place the road in front. Okay. We are now scavenging scrap. So this is good. Now we're going to have to have one person sending that scrap to the other area. But for now, we have, well, actually, we have four adults now. So maybe we can turn this on and just have one worker doing this. So we're going to add a new route and send scrap here. And that is going to help us build our scrap makers. So that is going to go probably here. Might be our first scrap maker, I'm thinking. Okay. Let's see. Do we have enough points? Yes, we do. Hooray. Now then, this area, let's see. This is going to be the more difficult bit, right? We can put one here uh, and have a longer building behind it. That is an option. 
let's see what we need to do with this gear mechanism here. Is that a double platform? Okay, it is a double platform across. So we just want to take the gears over. And here we're going to need to fix this whole section as well. Uh, mainly by putting a little bridge for our gearings. Our gear thingy majingies, if you want to have the technical terms. Very important to have technical terms, of course. And let's put the shaft in here. And we'll start on that one there. So we should be able to reach all of these pieces. This should not be an issue at all. And let's put in the last platform that we need right there. Okay, and that should be a good project for our beavers to work on. So, um, what is happening with this? Oh boy, we didn't do what we were going to do. That's not good. Uh, we have three days now. The question is, can we get this in three days? I don't know. We don't have 500 thingies either. We don't have 500 points. Ha, huh? sad, sad. Okay, we need points, guys. We really need points. Let's turn on one inventor. Oh, we have many inventors going. This is great. This is actually great. So we might get our 500 points. We accidentally bought the wrong thing. Let's go. 500, please, please. Go, go, before end of the day, please. There we go. Okay, yay. Um, we need these here, so three there, and these are going to be super, super high priority. If we cannot build them, then we need to replace with levies. So let's try to get those done. This can wait for sure. I kind of completely forgot about that project because we were waiting on the science points. Now, we do actually have a lot of people missing. Let's go ahead and open up some of these jobs here because I don't need that many inventors going on here. So let's just turn off a couple of them. Let's see, that leaves us one unemployed person. Let's go ahead and just get the trees going on here. That's fine. What else? What else? What else? Okay, so we do have the forester is going to start working. This area, yeah, is getting cleared of trees. This is kind of rough. So I want to, let's see, do we want another, maybe another builder? Let's get another builder going on. All right, we might have to say goodbye to all this beautiful power for a time. Now this, this can go bye-bye. Let's see, this wants to, let's empty this one. And we're going to delete this lumber post. So let's get rid of this. Yes. Okay. And this can... Let's see. What do we want to do with this? I think we want to delete this road. I don't think we need it at all. Uh, we used it to make the travel time to that dam shorter. But I don't actually think we need a road here. I think this is just fine if we go that way. It's not really... Yeah. A major thing. If not, we can always change it later. It's not a big deal. Okay, so there we have this. And what I want to do is I'm kind of clearing this area to have some farmhouses. Because it's, uh, yeah, it would be nice to, to have a few out here. So we can work on stuff. Let's go here. And what we could do, though, is... Hmm, I'm now thinking of, like, the, uh, yeah, the, the thing that we had before the farmhouse on top of the storage area that might actually be okay maybe we can do like another carrot storage in here let's see and it'll save some space or we could put the storages up here that is another option that i think might be might actually be better two, 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 two. i don't know that's only two squares there eh. not really that great could have one here could have two there i guess um could also put the farmhouses up here but i feel like it's too far from the crops yeah i think it's okay to build a storage here and yeah i think that's that's what we'll do is we'll build a couple of small warehouses out here and then the farmhouses as well so let's delete that it's too close i kind of like the other idea that we had previously 
And we'll just do a road here. And then farmhouse on top. And the nice thing about this, actually, is that we can use the other square for something, mainly farming. So I think that's a good use of roads and stuff, because we can, you know, farm that little square. So, uh, when we make these, let's go ahead and plan our fields. I think we'll have, hmm, let's maybe have uh, a fair amount of this carrots, maybe. And then we'll do the rest uh, to be potatoes. And then the rest may be wheat. I'm thinking wheat. Uh, and it might not be a lot of wheat because we might have to... You know what? We'll just use this entire area. And if we have to get rid of these water tanks later, we'll just do it. Okay, so that's that. We have... Let's see. These buildings are fully stocked with farmers, so that's great. How are we doing with this? We have one. Okay, that's good. Very good. We have 1.7 days left. How is this coming? This is almost done. Let's see. We are getting some planks, so those should be finished. And this one we want to have highest priority. Now these we want to have the height lower. Significantly lower. Okay, this is about the height. What is height? One and a half. Eh two I think that's actually the right wrong height still one and a half I think is what we want okay let's get that done folks let's do it come on planks 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 all right while they're doing that we might as well finish off the last part of this levy uh, this is a very bizarre build, I have to say, but it works, and it's kind of cool, and it's kind of fun. All the things and all the stuff, right? Hey, good stuff, good stuff. All right, those can go this way, and we'll keep on going this way, and everything will look right as rain. And then we can build an epic bridge across this thing, and that'll be kind of fun, too. Okay, cool. Yeah. Whoever thought we were going to have this kind of thing, huh? <laughs> it's very strange, but very cool. Okay, can we get this thing finished? I don't know. We have 1.3 days to get it sorted. We will try. We will do our best. And this thing, what are we doing here? We have, um, yeah, we're just waiting to build this double floodgate, but we're not getting any planks because rightfully all of it's being used here. Now, did we get this stuff done? No, we did not. We got something. Let's see. Let's get one worker there. Now, we don't actually have many workers left. Let's just have one person farming. Uh, so they can be doing that. Our scrap metal can be happening. This, did we... Yeah, we did send scrap metal to Knowington. Gnowington, I should say. Not just Knowington, but with a G. Very important to pronounce the G. It's great. Okay, so we got our things done. This is great. And look at this cool walkway. Is that not the coolest fun thing? It's like they go under a waterfall. It's fantastic. Yeah. I know a cool waterfall. I know lots of cool waterfalls, actually. Anyway, but that's, um, yeah, it's cool to walk right under the waterfall. It's really neat. Yay. All right, so uh, anyway, our beavers can get started on the rest of this levee. And we have raised the river, literally raised the entire river up to kind of the limit that we have here. Uh, but here, we might need to do something else. Now, there are lots of options here that I have been thinking about. We can make an enormous reservoir here that might have several outlets because like this goes downstream as well. Uh, that is, there's another waterfall over there. So there's a lot of places that we can use for power or for other things. Uh, and of course a reservoir is like a battery. It stores the energy. And so that's kind of what we would be looking at. Let's see, we still have a tiny bit of flow. I guess we'll stop. We now have a 10 day drought. That's a lot of drought. Mm -hmm. So let's see, we need to stop some of these processes, obviously. Uh, let's go ahead and pause this, pause this, and we need to unpause these guys, because that's all we have. Now, 
Let's see, we have 16 gears, which is great. We need that, of course, for the, um, the scrap metal processor to make them into the metal blocks. Let's see, do we have that? Did, I think we did unlock it. Yeah, the shredder, that's what it's called. Uh, let's see, this thing underneath is done, so we can actually put this over here if we wanted to. That would be okay. Okay, that doesn't work. I'm kind of like trying to think like the best way to put these. We can put longer buildings behind and we know there are longer buildings like the explosives factory and the bookmaking factory. Those are both long, long buildings. So let's go ahead and just do this power shaft next. Now, do we have enough energy to keep this going? Not really. Let's see, 280. I think we need to pause uh, the lumber mills for now. And hopefully we can just, yeah, get those things going. We do need to get these power wheels organized. Uh, we need, yeah, okay, they're coming, they're coming. The beaver is a coming, so that's good. Okay, things are going pretty well. We actually added an extra uh, water pump, so that's another beaver. <laughs> job taken kind of thing. Let's go ahead and put maybe one worker in each and let's have one focus on planting, one on harvesting. Now I think one of these, I think this one can be, let's make it potatoes. Uh, let's see, none and potatoes. We might not need to keep potatoes, I'm thinking, because we do process them very quickly. Uh, we might need maybe more storage for wheat. We'll see. All right. Well, that's gonna, that's gonna have things going on there. I think right now though, it's probably a great time to finish up this episode because we have made so much progress. We've gotten so far. Are you impressed with our river yet? It is fabulous and holding all the water to water all the crops and all the trees and all the things and making our beavers not die. That is a really good thing. Oh, we got our temple finished. That's awesome. Ah, oh, we need to get this thing done. Okay, let's get that done as one of the next things so they can actually go to the temple. That would be kind of be useful. Um, but anyway, I think that's going to be the end of this episode for today. I hope you have enjoyed it and are kind of curious about all the beavers and what's going on and things and stuff. Um, because I'm so happy with our colony. I think it's going amazingly and we have conquered this map, I think. Uh, you never can tell until we get all the texts and all the stuff, uh, because we don't want our beavers suffering. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.